Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Out YouTube channel. And in the video today, we're looking at the story of the blind man who invented cruise control. While speed governing systems have been around in automobiles as long as they have existed, the first known one was installed on a Wilson Pilcher car in 1900, and similar systems have been around long before that to control steam engines as far back as the 17th century, the invention of the modern cruise control system is credited to the inventor and automotive hall of famer Ralph Titor, a man who couldn't actually drive due to his being completely blind. The inspiration for the cruise control system struck Titor when he was riding with his lawyer in the 1940s. He noticed the lawyer had a tendency to slow down while talking and speed up while listening. This annoyed Titor, who decided to come up with a device to control the speed of the car automatically. After several years of tinkering, in 1948 he filed his first patent for a device to accomplish just this. It took him almost another decade and a few more patents filed, improving his original device, to finally come up with a version that would be installed on a commercially sold vehicle. The first cars to boast this new technology were the 1958 models of the Chrysler Imperial, the New Yorker, and Windsor. By 1960, cruise control was a standard feature on all Cadillacs. The system worked by calculating ground speed based on drive shaft rotations. It then used a solenoid as needed to vary the position of the throttle cable. Cruise control went by several names in the early days. It was initially called everything from Speedostat to Touchomatic and Autopilot. It was Chrysler who finally came up with the cruise control name. Personally, I'd have preferred it if they'd just stuck with Speedostat. Different versions of the cruise control system were soon invented by various people, with the systems receiving a big boost in popularity thanks to the oil crisis of the 1970s and the savings in fuel a cruise control system can potentially have, depending on one's driving habits. Today, the cruise control systems are still evolving, including beginning to incorporate some more advanced self-driving features, such as automatic braking. As for Titor, he was blinded in an accident when he was five years old, though he never let it slow him down. In fact, in the December 21st, 1902 edition of the New York Herald, Titor, who was 12 at the time, made it into a featured article, which read, A constructor of miniature dynamos and other machinery at 10, and thoroughly versed in all that pertains to their operation, and at 12 the builder of an automobile that carries him about the streets of his native town and far out upon the country roads at a speed of from 18 to 25 miles an hour is the remarkable record of Ralph Titor of Hagerstown, Indiana. The specific automobile referenced here was a one-cylinder car that, with the help of a cousin, he built using an old engine someone had thrown away. He then machined the necessary parts to rebuild the engine and soon had himself a working vehicle, all at the age of 12. This blind mechanical prodigy went on to graduate near the top of his class in 1912 with a degree in mechanical engineering from the University of Pennsylvania. A few years later, he developed a technology for dynamically balancing steam turbine rotors, which was used in torpedo boat destroyers during World War I. For his day job, Titor became a mechanical engineer for his family's company, Light Inspection Car Company of Hagerstown, Indiana, in the 1930s. The company was later named the Perfect Circle Corp. Operation. Perfect Circle provided piston rings to companies like General Motors, Packard, and Chrysler. Titor soon advanced to vice president of engineering for the company and was eventually named president. In the interim, he also developed an early gas powered lawnmower and a new kind of fishing rod handle that provided a fishing pole handle which comfortably fits in the fisherman's hand in a natural and effortless position and permits a convenient and easy manipulation of the reel with the thumb of the hand while it is firmly gripping the handle, along with filing many other patents throughout his life. He was also elected the president of the Society of Automotive Engineers, SAE, in 1936. In 1963, SAE went ahead and named an award after him, the Ralph R. Titor Educational Award, which honors those young educators who are successfully preparing engineers for meeting the challenges that face society. In 1965, he also received two honorary degrees, one from the Indiana Institute of Technology a Doctor of Engineering, and one from Earlham College, a Doctor of Law, among many other awards and honors. He died at the ripe old age of 91 on February the 15th, 1982. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a like below and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you like this video, why not check out some of our other videos which are over there on the right. And thank you for watching.